So technically, we are going to discuss that this MCQ linear dislocation, and not only we'll discuss linear dislocation, we'll talk about one more variant that is called as perilunar dislocation. But for that, you need to understand anatomy. If you understand it well, you will always be able to understand this topic. I'm sure you are all are able to see something on your screens right now. Hello, everyone. Uh, today we will be going to have a video on this very important and a very frequently asked question. Honestly, it started about three, four years ago when this question was asked for the first time, and after that, yes, it is a frequently asked question. So they have mentioned a question true about linear dislocation. They have given four options. They look very confusing. I'll make it a little simple for you. Uh, how many carpal bones do we have? Eight. What are their names? Scaphoid, lunate, tricotral, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. Which out of these eight is the most common carpal bone fracture? Well, I'm sure most of you have guessed it right. It's scaphoid. And if I ask you a question that which is the most common carpal bone to get dislocated, most of you have guessed it right as well. It is lunate. So technically, we are going to discuss that this MCQ lunate dislocation. And not only we'll discuss lunate dislocation, we'll talk about one more variant that is called as perilunate dislocation. But for that, you need to understand anatomy. If you understand it well, you will always be able to understand this topic. I'm sure you are all are able to see something on your screens right now. This is what you have normal. This is what you have in the lateral view. All right. So this is what you have in the lateral view. So what you are looking at right now is radius. What you are looking at right now is lunate. What you are looking at right now is capitate. What you are looking at right now is third metacarpal. And I'm sure if you people have some kind of an anatomical orientation in your head, if this is the lateral view, then this direction has to be anterior oblique volar. This direction has to be posterior oblique dorsal. So far, I'm assuming that this anatomy is clear. Now we have to understand a very interesting topic here. That is what is called as lunar dislocation. See, please try to understand that in lunar dislocation, what the hell will dislocate? The name itself says lunate. I'm sure you all can see radius. I'm sure you all can see capitate. I'm sure you all can see third metacarpal. And I'm sure you all can see lunate because lunate has dislocated lunate has dislocated in which direction anterior direction in which direction volar direction so in lunate dislocation from today we will make a concept that in lunate dislocation what will dislocate lunate while the rest of the bones will remain in sync let's go for the second one perilunate dislocation life is easy if you want to make it easy so in p4 perilunate dislocation please understand in p4 perilunate dislocation the bone that will dislocate is p4 peritolunate that means distal to lunate and in p4 perilunate dislocation the bone distal to lunate they will dislocate p4 posteriorly what does that mean radius and lunate remain in sync while capitate and third metacarpal they are dislocating since it is p4 perilunate dislocation they are dislocating in posterior or dorsal direction i hope i make some sense with the help of this very simple line diagram Clinically, perilunate dislocation is always common than lunar dislocation. I hope I made this concept clear. This is the only and the easiest way with which you can understand the topic. Otherwise, if you will keep reading on theory as you do in majority of the textbooks, you will end up doing nothing. True about lunate dislocation. It is more common than perilunate dislocation. This is wrong because perilunate is more common. Lunate stays in place. No boss. In lunate dislocation, will dislocate lunate. So lunate cannot stay in place. Lunate dislocates entirely true while the rest of the bones remain in place. So answer has to be A. So I hope you understood a very, very important MCQ that usually comes from carpal bone injuries, lunate and perilunate dislocation. Thank you so much. God bless.